plan to get an electric car when you replace your current one? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Would you play a game like Star Citizen? Well, I have played Star Citizen. I have got it. Same with Elite. Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous has just had that Odyssey update. Which kind of makes it look like Star Citizen, bizarrely enough. When I was watching some footage of it, walking around the space station, I was like, that looks like Star Citizen now. If you call your fly for insurance company in the US, who just started flying again with some regularity. Nice. Is there any classic aircraft that you'd like to fly RL? A Spitfire. Although I don't think I'll ever get to fly a Spitfire. I wouldn't mind going up in the back of one of those two-seater Spitfires. They've, they've got a few of them at Duxford. They've got some two-seater Spitfires. I would love, love a ride in the back of one of those. in phase three for the alpha at the moment. Keep right. What is this? Keep right, keep left, and then keep right. That is the most bizarre junction. Uh, do you want to ride in a 53 helicopter? What's a 53 helicopter? two grand to go up in a Spitfire. Well, I never said I wanted to spend two grand. I just said I'd like to go up in a Spitfire. Turn right. What on earth is this junction? Bit of a mod uh, KSP called Principia adds realistic body physics to replace KAP glitchy two body simplification. I have not heard of that, no. What's it like when you've got lots of Lots of parts, like a space station assembly. What's the, what's the, uh, you start to get like five FPS because of all the math calculations. Finest fighter was the hurricane. I don't agree with that. Right. Then turn Principia right. is incredibly difficult. God, this junction is just the worst. It had more kills than Spitfire. That's because they were more common than the Spitfire crossbow. The, the Hurricane was cheaper to make. They made a lot more of them. So just saying it had more kills is not really a valid statement. But that wasn't what you said. You said it was a better fighter. I don't agree with that. wasn't the best fighter either. ME-109s are pretty good. In fact, the reason that the Spitfire has a clipped wing, like there's an elliptical wing version, and then later on they had to do a clipped wing version. The reason they had to do that was because the Messerschmitts were outperforming them in turning circle. So they had to clip the wings in to make the Spitfire competitive again. But it doesn't look as nice. The elliptical wing looks far, far nicer, but it doesn't turn as quickly. Yeah, exactly, Beaker. The, the Spitfire was an intercept, an intercept aircraft. Like it literally took down other fighters. I did a lot of dog fighting. Where are we going? Did it say turn right? Take the exit right. Go straight on. A load order for chassis cap mods. What I always do, James, is at the bottom, on the 
Now bear in mind the mod load order, right? At the bottom, it loads first, which means the higher priority stuff you want at the top. So at the bottom I have all of the AI traffic, bus traffic, all that goes down the bottom. And then after that I start to add things like um, trailers, trailer packs and things. That's the load order that works for me. is an American-made helicopter, the biggest helicopter that the U.S. makes for a cool if lift small aircraft. I would like to fly in a Chinook. I would love to, you know, be a passenger in a Chinook. Not in the back, just, you know, up front or something. Um, and I'd love to fly in the, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Airbus, uh, what's it called? The military one, the M. What's the what's the four turboprop engine Airbus military plane? A four hundred M. That's it. I, I kept thinking the M four hundred. I knew it wasn't the A four hundred M. I I would love. I've been in the back of one, but not when it was flying. I'd love to actually take a flight in one. I, I think that aircraft is amazing. Sesta, give this. That's a very colourful trailer. <laughs> Look at that. Would you love to go up in an answer? Of? Nah. Not really. Nothing very exciting about an answer. Of. The A400M is an insane. Like, it can just land and take off on nothing. It's just crazy. Osprey looks cool. Yeah. Very unique, the Osprey. Wouldn't mind to go on a Harrier jump jet. That'd be fun. The Rallycan, thank you for 28 months. Mr. Darcy, thank you for subbing. Welcome. I should have done three of 20. It yeah, has indeed. We'll make it early morning. Otherwise, we'll be uh, driving through the dark. Got your vaccine jab this morning. Noise. Later on, your arm will feel sore, and then you start feeling a bit shivery, probably. Is your profile modded for XP and money? It's not modded, mate. I've had this profile for so many years. It's literally, that's what I've driven. Since like 20, 2013, 2014, I've had this profile. Uh, external contracts. The money's so high and the level's so high, people think it's modded. <laughs> Your grandpa flew the F5, F4, and F86 back when it was in the Iranian Air Force. Noise. The only aircraft that can bounce the queen, yeah. Yeah, I, I'd love to, you know, it's not it's not really possible, is it? But I'd love to have a go on an Apache. I'd love to experience that, but they can't because they're two-seaters and you kind of need both seats unless there's no gunner. I suppose I could be the gunner. <laughs> the Trannel, thank you, 15 months. 
Uh, had three months with two different subscribers, but nothing compares to Squirrel. Thanks for 15 months. Thank you, dude. Right, where do we want to go? We're in Madrid. We need to go a bit further afield. Saragoza, we just came from. Granada, we've not been down that road. I go down to Granada with some metal beams. Could nip around that way. That's a bit of a boring trailer, though. Seville. Don't see the barber in Seville. It might be open now. Oh, you see, I like that trailer, but not to Plymouth. Berthia is scenic. There's a lot of jobs going to GB. Take some cars down to Seville. Malaga. I need to go on the south. I didn't go down the south coast bit. This is where the Brits go on holiday. All down here. Down the Algarve. All around here as well. That's where they all go. Vigo. No, it's not Promods. Promods, uh... Promos doesn't have a Spain out for 1.4. Zinem, how you doing? Yeah, I want to get down to the coast. I think what we'll do, I'm thinking either we either go to Granada. You see, I kind of want to take a job that will take me along the coast. And if I go to Granada, that's not going to happen. If we went to Seville, maybe later we can get a job that runs along the coast from here to Almeria. So we'll go to Seville for that reason. Uh, Promod 2.5 is out, including Iberia. It's not. Pro Promod 2.5 is out, but it doesn't... It obliterates its own Spain. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, how do you like the stream decks for trucking? It's on between a button box or a stream deck. If I was you, Crippy, I would get one stream deck. One of these big stream decks will pretty much do you for almost every game you can play. Far more versatile than a button box. Unless you specifically need, like, twisty dials and things, which you can get on a button box. If you just want... If you can live with key presses, because that's all it is, I'm wrong. What am I wrong about, Rowan? What am I wrong about? If you can live with key presses, get a stream deck. If you need specific dials, then obviously get a button box. 2.5 is out and has Iberia. I know it has Iberia. It eliminates the Pro Mod Spain, doesn't it? Right. I'm going to dig out the email. <laughs> Hang on. Promods 2.55 update. Here we go. Promods 2.55 has been released since Thursday, April the 15th. It's a minor update. Compatibility with Iberia DLC. If you do not have Iberia DLC, do not update and stay with 2.52. The Iberia DLC is not required to run 2.5, but you will lose Spain entirely. Does that make sense? That's what the release note says. So why am I wrong, Rowan? I've just read you what it said. Why am I wrong? It only removes Promod Spain and keeps the DLC map. Correct. And if you don't have Iberia, they're recommending that you stay on 252. There's no reason for him to use Promod since 2.5 has SCS Spain. I'm only driving around Spain today, so I don't need Promods. <laughs> I think we're arguing over nothing here, personally. Is it true that Stream Deck, you can have a button to flick to another page of more macros? Yes, you have a folder. Yeah, so... You, how can I show this? You see this? You see this here on the top? These are folders. So this is my trucking folder, right? And I come out of that. Uh, this is my Microsoft Flight Sim folder. And within that, there's another folder. So you can have nested folders... Which is why I say it's very, very versatile. You 
can't do that with the button box. <laughs> what budget steering wheel would you recommend under 300 pounds? Do you need pedals as well? I mean, the two, like in that price bracket, the two players are Logitech and Thrustmaster, really. And I did a review video, didn't I, where I covered the Thrustmaster and the Logitech stuff. So you could watch the video. It's still pretty relevant. Big Bad Moore, thank you for almost four years. Hello from Columbus, Ohio. I've been subbed to the best streamer for 47 months. Crazy. Keep it up. Boston is excited you're back. <laughs> uh, thank you, Moore. What was it going to do? It was going down to Seville, wasn't I? Um, there we go. Let's take cars to Seville. Let's do that. Uh, Dan H, if you run the game mods command, I'll take them to my spreadsheet, which has it has a whole bunch of mods on it. You know, I I use different ones every time I play, so I kind of mix and match, but it at least tell you what mods I use, but not necessarily at the same time. Right, where are we going? Is this a one-way? I think it's a one-way system. A stream next overkill for simulators. Turn left. I don't know how to answer that statement. One of the, part of the problem that you have, that we've always had with simulators, I mean, you only have to look at DCS, right? DCS is the is the classic example. DCS has, if you look through the keyboard mappings, it has an insane amount of keyboard mappings. You can map a key press for just about everything in DCS. To the point where some of the default controls are like Control Alt Shift E. Nobody can remember that stuff. Turn right. Right? So stream decks are brilliant for that because you can say when I press this icon, do Control Alt Shift E, and you just press it, and it does it. And then you can put a nice little picture on it, and you don't have to remember that absurd mapping anymore. <laughs> While DCS is a bit of an extreme example, a lot of simulators do have a lot of uh, button mappings for things. In fact, the more in-depth the simulator, the more likely it is that you will need button mappings. So when you say, are they overkill, I would counter that and say the more in-depth your simulator is the more likely you are need you're going to need a stream deck anyway or something else to map the buttons for you are we staying left or right right yeah armor had a lot of key bindings as well but it was a simulator before stream decks you what you would generally do was either get a generic button box and then label it, which was great while you were playing that one simulator, but when you flick to another simulator, all of your labels are incorrect. Or you would do what the home cockpit builder does, which is build a home cockpit for that sim, which has all the, all the controls that mimic the real thing. Is the G27 a good starting point? No, because you can't buy them anymore. It was a good starting point. It really was. The G27 was great. It was absolutely great for trucking. It had a nice shifter and a good price point, but they stopped making them. Yeah, well, if you want to go second-hand on a G27, what you have to consider is... What happens if it stops working? You can't get it repaired anymore. And there won't be any warranty. So it's a bit of a risk, isn't it? Uh, Magpie, I have the big stream deck, which is, is it 24 buttons? Hang on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 by 4, 32. I have the big one and the medium one. You can also get the little one. 
which is it's great for changing scenes and that kind of thing, but not terribly useful for the uh, simulator. Like the 15 button one is good for most people because you can use nested um, folders. You can get away with whatever you want. But if you want to have all the buttons on one screen, you need the big one. You want to get into racing because your sims are getting bored. <laughs> uh, do you see the right mirror or don't use it? Well, the one over there. I have to look at it unless I go super wide. Use a farm sim controller on a small stream deck. Yeah, the farm sim controller is... Um, I mean, the pedals aren't very good because they're plasticky, but the actual button mappings on the, on the deck with the stick are pretty good. I used to use that until I got a stream deck. I don't use an eye tracker. I've had Toby email me a number of times about eye trackers, and I'm like, I don't want to use an eye tracker. I prefer head tracking to eye tracking. the cars where do you get stream deck I th think I got it from Amazon oh god it's not that one <laughs> it's that one I remember when you gave away your original G27 giveaway uh, nope I still have my original G27 I think I gave the other one away something like that I can't remember I gave one of them away. Game keeps crashing after five seconds after I've got the latest Jazzy Cat mod. Have a look in the log file. I can't remember Valtiel. <laughs> it was a long time ago. <laughs> Look at these lights. Like, you literally can't see anything on the ground. Go round the roundabout, third exit. Oh, it was quite a few years ago. Sorry. Are you on about a discount code for Track IR? Is that what you mean? Round the roundabout, first exit. Seventy thousand ton log. <laughs> That's a bit heavy. Chef, I think they 
the code still works, the 5% off or whatever it was. I think it still works, I don't know. Uh, I've not Henrik, no. Do you have any tips for starting simulation games content? So you're on about producing videos and streams now, Andre. What you got to understand about the simulation world is a bit of a niche. Somebody needs to read the chat rules. Let me give you a tip if you want to be a streamer. Don't go into some other stream and advertise your stream. That's like rule number one. Uh, book box scores, you never look for them. What, this? It's a stream deck. The best thing to do, corned beef, have a look at my specs page. If you run the, um, the specs command, that will give you uh, a link to my equipment, and you'll see my equipment there. Dude, if you're not a programmer, don't even think about growing your own bolts. Savage Warrior, thank you for gifting two subs. Welcome, guys. I can code, and even I wouldn't write my own bolt. The XL1 starts as glitch with green lines after five months. Well, I'm pretty certain that would be covered by a guarantee. With anything within 12 months, you should be able to get that replaced free. Amazon took it back and got a refund. I think you just got a bad one, Woodpecker. I've got two here and then no problems. Uh, you're going to go to Trek Fest in August. I'm, I'm thinking probably not. This is what I'm thinking. I don't think it will be... I, I, I genuinely don't know, right? But I don't think it's going to be, like, full. I think there'll be a lot of people won't go. A lot of truckers won't go. A lot of stalls won't go. The stalls will be spread out. You'll have to socially distance. Like, I just can't be bothered with that. I've already said the same, OJ. I've already said the events this year. Holidays and events this year. <laughs> not going to happen. Uh, I'm using a P1X rig. Simlabs P1X. Drift stage. Yeah, I'd love to go and see a race. Um, but I... I don't think it'll happen either. It'd be nice to watch a race. I've not been flying Zinnem. Optimistically booked a concert for December. You might get away with it. I noticed the holiday companies have... They're ramping up all the advertising. Book your holiday now! You know, COVID guarantee and all this kind of thing. I don't 
like for me going on holiday and then having to wear a mask everywhere go to dinner and all that oh it's just it's not a holiday it's just the same thing somewhere else uh just yet technically yes i can go flying now if i want to as long as it's with somebody from my social bubble etc Muppet Christmas Carol with a live orchestra <laughs> oh nice I'm booked in to see Hans Zimmer next year it was supposed to be this year but they've pushed it back a year Hans Zimmer live it's so good I've seen it before it's so good so so good live It's not the resort that was you, it's the flying. Yeah, fair point. Uh, YouTube fan, if you were referring to my specs page, currently you will see that the, it's listed a 3950 CPU, which is incorrect. I'm using a 5950. You'll also see a 2080 Ti, which is also incorrect, because I'm using a 3090. However, the stocks are pretty much non-existent on the 3090 and the 5950 particularly on Amazon so I've not changed the specs page because I've got nothing to link to yet he wants to go a year but didn't the tickets were very expensive yeah I, I spent quite a bit of money on the tickets so I've got I think I'm like row 5 or something I'm right near the front really good tickets but I know I know how good he is live Delta is blocking off seats what do you mean as in socially distanced in the seating hey Alpha Bomb I think so, Kempi. It's next year. It's like April next year, so I think it should be should be okay by then. It's on a Zeus crowd, I think. Uh, 3090 OC. Saw Handsome as Prague show on YouTube, and I knew how to go. Was well, there's two things that run um, private Orion is the Hans Zimmer, there's like a Hans Zimmer tour, which is basically the orchestra, but not Hans Zimmer, and they play all his music, and then there's like the Hans Zimmer performance with him conducting and talking about. That's the one that I go to, not the other one. I think it's called Hans Zimmer Live, and then there's Hans Zimmer tour, I can't remember the name. But you just need to check that, because they're not, they don't make it obvious that he's not there. And I'm not interested in that because Hans Zimmer, what Hans Zimmer's really good at is in between each performance, he, he talks like anecdotally about the about the song, some of the history of it, how it got made, people that he met, the inspiration for it. He talks about all that stuff. And then like introduces, you know, a special performer, like lead lead violinist or something. It's brilliant, it's a really good show. James, the only thing you can do if you've got an issue is remove all the mods and then gradually bring them back until you find the problem. It's just a tedious long process. I... I don't know. My favourite hands in the soundtrack. Dude, I... There's so many good ones. The Dunkirk soundtrack's brilliant. Interstellar's brilliant. Um... The, uh, what's it called, Inception one's brilliant. There's some fantastic ones. So 
some people are buying rebuilt just to get the graphics card. Yeah, because all the stock is going to system builders as a priority. So you can't buying the components is very difficult. Pulling for some fuel, actually. Ooh, he says completely missing the entrance. This is nice. I like this. This is this is really nice. Like a proper rest area. It just it's just the people that are missing, isn't it? Wait. Okay, that, that confused me. Zimmer or Williams. Well, they're both great composers. busy here. Does the money sheet monster work? I don't know, to be honest. It should do. Oh, do you know what, Simp Boy? I saw Ennio Morricone live about 12 months before he passed away. I am so, so glad that I went to see Ennio Morricone live. If I'd have left it to the year after, the guy wouldn't have been around. Um... I watched him perform live and it was just, it was superb. It really was. Like, ever since, ever since I watched films like, you know, Good, the Bad and the Ugly and that kind of thing, Fistful of Dollars, as, you know, when I was young, ever since I watched them, I always wanted to see Ennio any Morricone and I went a few years ago. And it was just, oh, absolutely wonderful. I mean, the guy was, was he like 87 or something? He was so frail turn getting on stage. You could see, right. you could see even then he was struggling. But, you know, his mind was still sharp and he was able to talk about stuff. Right. Uh, how does Prime subscribe and okay when you can resubscribe for the month? Not sure what you mean. Mr. Benner, thank you for 81 months, Benner. Toto, just get a, uh, a Logitech or a Thrustmaster pedal and wheel set. It's your best bet. Yeah, Conio, sometimes um, when your Prime sub ends, you have to wait like another 24 hours before it lets you use it again. I, ca I kind of feel like Twitch does that on purpose. <laughs> they try to encourage you to forget to use your Prime sub. You know what I mean? It's like one of those little hurdles to make you jump through. You're like, but my Prime Sub's ended, why can't I just go and use it again? Ah, <laughs> good question. <laughs> uh, well, I did answer you, Toto. It tries to convince you to restart with the card before Prime Sub expires. Yep. I mean, I can't disagree with that because that's good for the streamer. But the the thing, like the way it does the prime roof sub, is interesting. I'm going to join the new DLC. Oh yeah. No 
sim trucker. It's fat. Friday afternoon trucking. Doesn't the streamer get more of the sub if it's a prime sub? No, it's no difference. There's literally no difference to the streamer. The only di the difference is to the the person subbing. Like, do they pay for it via the Amazon um, Prime, or do they just pay for it out of their own credit card or whatever? But to the streamer, it's no difference. Yep, you got Portugal. Maybe Amazon will buy Discord instead of Microsoft. Who knows? Who knows? I, I mean, the, the problem is both Microsoft and Amazon have a big presence in the gaming entertainment space. So they both want to have Discord. Because Discord is used an awful lot in the gaming, particularly in the gaming sphere. A lot of communities are there, a lot of uh, streamers build the, the communities there, like there's just a ton of stuff. And they would love to uh, get a piece of that. But one of them's going to buy it, and then Discord will change, I think. I don't know, Conio. If Amazon get it, they'll chuck adverts all over it. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Amazon is an advertising business, whereas Microsoft isn't. If Microsoft get it, they'll try and integrate it with Windows. Um, and probably Skype. And who knows what else. Maybe even Slack. Just Amazon more than Microsoft. You shouldn't. Don't trust either of them. A lot of people have moved to Gilded. Yeah. Not really. Sam Davis, thank you for a year. I think Discord becomes a subscription. Um. Going forward, somebody has to pay for it somehow. At the moment, I think it's all done on investment money, but going forward, it has to be sustainable financially. So, it might make sense for them to, like the server owner, to pay for stuff in some way. I mean, in all honesty, if I, if I was faced with a choice of having, you know, Amazon ads and things injected into my Discord server, and paying 50 quid a year not to have that i would pay 50 quid a year so that nobody else had to be you know bombarded with adverts in my server if that's the way it goes microsoft will shut it down like they did to mixer nah they won't do that if microsoft buy it they'll use it it's just that what microsoft tends to do is microsoft tends to integrate things they tend to take something and then integrate it with all the other stuff. That's what that's the way they do. The, the more the more like the Borg Microsoft, the more like an assimilation company. Uh, YouTube fan, thank you for the bits. Looks like you got it working. Thank you. People use Discord and like Mixer, exactly. Mixer came along a few years too late. If Mixer had come along in like 2016, they would have had a, a good chance of making it work. Could Valve buy it? Well, Valve could buy it, but Valve don't seem to... Valve don't seem to be a company that goes around buying things. Whereas, you know, Microsoft have a history of that. Man me, thank you for 61. Yeah, that would be Valve's question, like, what use is it to them? 
A company like Nvidia or Microsoft or Amazon are the are the ideal companies to buy Discord for them. Seville. Into invisible wall then. Take the exit left. Uh, YouTube fan, thank you for gifting us to pint sized, walking pint sized. Oh, yeah, Microsoft did a great job with Skype. Convinced that new Microsoft would try to integrate it into everything. Yeah, I mean, the, the, under its new ownership, Microsoft is a bit of a different company. Go straight on. Straight on? How can I go straight on? See them putting it under the Xbox umbrella, leaving it alone. Mm, I don't know if the Xbox is a good fit for it. I think it's more of a PC gaming thing, which is kind of why I think Nvidia might be. I mean, Nvidia's on a bit of a buying spree right now. I would have thought they would be interested in it, to be, to be honest. Xbox branding on PC too. They do. I mean, I think for years they've been trying to bring out more and more games that run on PC and Xbox. And then you get the Xbox subscription and you can play it on either. That's the one thing they have over Sony is they have the Windows platform and it's unified with DirectX via... unified with Xbox via DirectX. So it makes sense for them to try and use that. I think they'll replace Xbox parties with Discord. Maybe. See, most people on console don't have a keyboard though, do they? So they, you kind of need a keyboard for Discord. This is a weirdest road network. Gonna be. Do you see that trailer? There was a trailer there that was tipping over. Do you see that? You have reached your destination. Oh, this is a fun reverse. There it goes. It just fell back. <laughs> Logistica Atlantica.
think that guy'd come out you know help us reverse, wouldn't you? Missed the first two hours because you was playing Lego Hobbit. <laughs> this is the big issue. You have no depth perception. You have no idea how far away the back is from the front. second is that behind or in front of that trailer yeah, it is in front okay you didn't expect this to say Zarek what do you expect expect the unexpected and then you'll never be surprised hey. Really difficult to judge out of a 2D mirror. It wasn't a million miles away. Not going to be enough though. Anyone else getting pulled same thing twice? Anyone else getting pulled same thing twice? Crow Daddy, Crow Daddy. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. It's a sure sign that you've got two browsers open with me on it. Two pages open, the same thing. That's what happens. White then, mate, you've got to change the song lyrics. It's Friday afternoon trucking, fat, fat trucking. That was uh, interesting. <laughs> no, Wyland, I was trying to do that reverse, uh, first person reverse offside. You know, of a 2D widescreen mirror is not easy. Because <laughs> you can't judge the depth to start the turn. Normally with those reverses, I just go external camera and do it. Right, let's see if we can get a, jo uh, a job along maybe to Almeria would be nice. Hard stone, thank you for half a year. Uh, Battery H, new job starts next month, so I'm back. Noise. Too close. Ooh. Down the road, though. That could be nice. Don't want to go to Madrid. Job market's not being kind. Are you using a new mic because you sound a bit different? Nope. In what way do I sound different? Am I, are my dulcet tones not not enough for you today? Or do I sound incredibly sexy, even more than normal? Do I sound slightly fruity with a hint of spice? I think we'll have to take the small job down to the south, though. 
Hmm. Maybe we'll just refresh. Seville, Seville, Seville. Oh man, come on. 166 Ks, that won't count. Nice, nice trailer, but it wouldn't count as a delivery in the World of Trucks event. That one would, but we've kind of been down there. I don't want to go back into the mainland, I want to go east. Come on, game. Be nice. It's been a real pain, isn't it? These are not changing. Hmm. Let's go over there. <laughs> Look forward to it, Connie. I'll see you later. Well, I've got the I've got the job sorted by distance, so they would be showing. Turn left. Can you do this event with your own trailers? I don't know, actually. I think you can, because as long as the as long as the contract was generated, oh jeez, man. As long as the contract was generated by the server, I think it works fine. So yeah, I think you could get an own trailer and do a delivery and, and still count. Probably tell you up here, wouldn't it? Use external contracts or the external market. So yeah, if you get your you get your own trailer, use external market. I'll be fine. Uh, OJ, thank you for 245 bits. Thank you for the support. Crazy road network. Take the exit. I thought the Italian road network was bad. This is crazy. Blinkers on my truck, you see, that's why I'm not using them. I have indicators. Eight seven six. Thank you for four months. Oh, it's a daft dealer. I can't remember Crippers. Why do you ask? You have reached your destination. K 
could do. I could buy. Hmm. See, annoyingly, you can't look in the external market unless you get a trailer. But and this is the frustrating thing because I would quite happily go and buy a trailer if I knew I could get a contract to go somewhere that I want to go. But I can't click on the external contract because it won't generate jobs without a trailer. So I have to buy a trailer, then go into the external market only to find there are no jobs going where I want them to go. It should be the other way around. I should be able to look through here and then say, oh, I want that job. And it go, right, well, you need to get a this trailer. And then I go and get that trailer. But it's not. It's back to front. 